Delta Marine Consultants are proud to present the latest innovation in breakwaters and shore protection, the X-Block Plus. The main purpose of this new unit is to make breakwater construction more reliable, more efficient and faster. The block's striking appearance is the result of three years of extensive research and refinement and builds upon DMC's vast experience gathered in 17 years of using the original X-Block. Answering the market's demands, the X-Block Plus is shaped to enable regular block placement, a bit like roof tiles. The result is a product that's as pleasing to the eye as it is to your planning and budget. Let's take a closer look. The size of the X-Block Plus depends on the local wave climate. For areas subject to most severe wave conditions, the biggest unit can be applied, which weighs 48 tonnes. This block is 2.25 metres in height, 4.5 metres wide and 5.7 metres long. Its smaller relatives follow the same proportions all the way down to units that are 75 centimetres in height for more sheltered locations. The remarkable shape of the unit is the result of an iterative process of shape improvements which all had the purpose to improve the efficiency of the block to break the waves and to simplify its placement process. The block comprises of a beak, two wings and a tail. The block is placed with its beak leaning on the wings of two units below, tightly locked behind their vertical edges. The shapes of the wings and the beak are designed in such a way that the block can accommodate tolerances in the underlayer profile very well. This placement results in an armour layer which is beautiful to look at and highly stable to withstand all violent waves the ocean throws at it. The hole in the middle of the block serves two purposes. First of all, it significantly reduces pressure on the bottom surface, making it impossible for the units to be lifted and displaced by the waves, further increasing the block's stability. Secondly, the hole is used to lift the blocks easily and quickly with a clamp. This reduces the number of people working outside on the breakwater to zero, as the whole operation is done by the crane driver, significantly improving the safety of the placement operation. Furthermore, it greatly benefits the speed and precision of placing the blocks in their intended position. During the physical model tests performed with the new unit, DMC observed the extraordinary stability of the X-Block Plus, which is in fact higher than that of X-Block and other single-layer blocks. Despite this, DMC has chosen a lower stability number for the X-Block Plus. This means that for the same design wave height, a larger X-Block Plus is applied. This leads to increased safety in design. Although the X-Block Plus unit is bigger and heavier than an equivalent X-Block or Acropod 2 unit, the total amount of concrete used is still equal to X-Block and consequently 10% less than for Acropod 2. This is because each X-Block Plus covers a larger area on the breakwater. A larger block size also implies a significant increase in placement speed and a smaller amount of blocks needed for the same project. Effectively, X-Block Plus requires 25% less blocks than X-Block and 33% less than blocks like Acropod 2. To sum it up, X-Block Plus delivers above and beyond the norm on key aspects of safety, speed, reliability and reduction of costs and resources. The X-Block Plus is not considered a replacement for the original X-Block. They are complementing products each with their own strengths and benefits. X-Block Plus delivers fast and efficient placement on straight and mildly curved breakwater sections due to its similarity with roof tiles. But on sharp corners and on the breakwater head, the unit cannot be applied efficiently. In those sections, the X-Block comes back into play. Its random placement makes it flexible and versatile for placement on curved surfaces. Typically, this is what the construction of the breakwater will look like a core that consists of quarry run, followed by a filter layer to separate the toe from the sea bottom. Next, the under layer is placed on the filter layer and on the front and the back of the breakwater core. After this, the first three rows of armour units can be placed, followed by the breakwater toe. Now more rows of X-Block Plus can be placed almost to the top and the rear armour. 
finally the crown wall is built, followed by the final row of X-Block Plus units. Transitions between the X-Block Plus and the X-Block are made by placing the X-Block Plus layer first and continuing with the X-Block. Transitions from one size of X-Block Plus to another follow the same principle, using the X-Block as a wedge between the two different sizes. The X-Block and the X-Block Plus together make a winning team for any and all conditions. High placement speed and efficiency with X-Block Plus on straight and mildly curved sections. High flexibility with X-Block on sharp corners and breakwater heads. With the introduction of the new X-Block Plus, construction of breakwaters and shore protection will become more reliable, more efficient and faster.